All right, an uptick in activity by the world's largest volcano has residents on Hawaii's Big Island on alert. Mauna Loa covers over half of the Big Island, and this recent seismic action has officials scrambling. They're using, uh, they're urging people rather to prepare in case of an eruption. Now let's bring in geologist Matthew Patrick to get to the bottom of this thing. Matthew, thanks for being here, sir. Thank you. Pretty scary when you think about a possible eruption here and dozens of earthquakes have already been felt, right? We're talking about reported earthquakes as well on Hawaii's big island. But are there signs of Mauna Loa's imminent eruption? So right now we've seen an increase in seismic activity or earthquakes uh, just beneath the summit caldera over the past month or so. But, uh, you know, so this is obviously a sign of increased unrest, which is a you know major cause for concern. But right now we don't see signs of an imminent eruption. Hmm. Well, that's good news right there. Talk to us about the potential impact this volcano erupting can have or what it would cause to Hawaii's big island. Yeah, Mauna Loa is always a hazard concern because, like you said, it covers more than half the island. So there are a lot of communities that are low on the flanks of the volcano. So, you know, an eruption in the last eruption was in 1984, and that sent a lava flow that reached uh, within about four miles of the outskirts of Hilo, the city of Hilo here. So this volcano can have large, fast-moving flows that can reach, you know, large portions of the island. So that's why we're keeping an extra close eye on the volcano now. So the last eruption, not that long ago, let's put into reference, when you say no imminent eruption, what's the time frame then that you guys are thinking? Well, that's hard to say because sometimes things on the volcano can change rapidly. So um, that's why we're encouraging people to, you know, of course, have an evacuation plan, be prepared, stay uh, informed with Hawaii County Civil Defense and the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. So it'd basically be able to respond on relatively short notice. So when a hurricane approaches land, people board up their windows and, uh, you know, they head further inland. What can people do to best prepare for a volcanic eruption? Yeah, basically staying informed right now is, is kind of that's the stage that we're at now. But also just having a plan, having a communication plan with a family and also having an evacuation plan, knowing where you might go uh, to visit, you know, relocate to friends and family, um, you know, if, if the area that you're in uh, is, you know, is threatened. Such a, it's such a good question, right? Because we're used to forecasting things like, you know, hurricanes, which you have time to prepare for, a tornado is a little bit more sudden. But... How much time do you typically have to prepare for an eruption? Are we talking hours, like a wildfire that's spreading to evacuate, or what are we what are we looking at here? You know, it's highly variable on volcanoes, and Mauna Loa is also tricky because you know it covers such a large, it's such an expansive volcano that even if you knew an eruption were coming, it's really hard to say where that eruption might pop out of the ground uh, because it has a summit caldera and it has these two very long rift zones. So, um, you know, magma generally rises beneath the summit, and then half the time it stays there in the summit, and it, it, that, you know, isn't a threat to downslope communities. But then sometimes the magma migrates down the rift zones, or one of the rift zones. The problem with Mauna Loa is that, you know, whether that magma stays in the summit crater or whether it migrates down the flank, uh, that's something that we would only know or be able to track once the eruption started. So that's why we encourage people to basically stay informed and, because things can happen quickly on the volcano. Absolutely. Matthew Patrick, thank you for being with us on Fox Weather tonight. Yeah, we appreciate that. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.